Hi guys, this is just an update from the last video I've done. Um, it wasn't too clear, so I'm hoping it's a bit clearer for you. This is to show you basically the internal locking system for the T5 transporter sliding door. Okay, so this is the handle. It releases when you pull the handle from inside. Okay, this is the little section here where they punch the hole for the top of the handle and they push this with a screwdriver. Okay, and that basically activates the lock. So if you look at that end, Okay, that's how simple it is to break into a T5. It's really bad. If you've not been broken into already and you've got uh, tools, I would recommend putting a plate, double plate above the handle. Um, yeah, so basically this is all behind it. Okay, so basically if you've broken into and you need to get this off, it's pretty simple. Um, if you can't open the sliding door, go for the back. Take the panels off. The first thing you want to do is see this little tiny screw? It's a star. Under the star screw... Go back outside, pull the lock out. The lock goes right through to your main locking section here, and you can't remove this unless you pull the lock out. Once you've pulled the lock out, then this handle slides, removes that away, and then basically you've got a screw here which goes through the sliding door which holds this mechanism on. I usually leave this on under the three screws inside the door, remove this out of the way, and you've got a water catcher as well. Remove that. Then just re-stick it back on again. Yep. And once you've done that, this comes off. Just remove the screw and this comes off. And basically you can put your new ones back up again. But it's pretty easy. The cable for the rear door, that's easy enough. That all comes new. All, all this comes new. They're, they do vary. Uh, not so much the plug, but the actual loom varies. But the plug still fits. Okay. So basically, that just comes out. That just lifts off. And that's your two units. So basically, that fits on first. Then your water catcher goes on. Yep, and then basically that pushes up and locates onto the two locators at the back there. One, two. Held up with three screws. Basically plug it in, put your new wire on for the back release, and you're done. That's as simple as that. Okay, but don't forget the screw. You need to pull the lock out before you can remove this. Okay, so just remember that. Okay, guys, thanks very much. Cheers, bye.